What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Deadpool Movie Review. In anticipation for Deadpool 2, I gotta review the first one. Now this first one came out two years ago and it, it didn't shock the hell out of me actually. It did go above my expectations, but I absolutely love this movie. It is directed by Tim Miller and it stars Ryan Reynolds. God, guys, I there's so much to say about this movie. I loved it. The second, the first time I saw it, I thought, holy shit, this movie is amazing. And still, to this day, I saw this movie 10 times in theaters. Tomorrow is going to be my 11th time seeing it in theater because I'm going to go to a Deadpool double feature in anticipation for Deadpool 2. So they're going to show the first one in theaters again. Of course, I'm going to. I, if I have an opportunity, I'm going to see it in theaters again. And so this is awesome that I get to see that on the big screen one more time. And man, this movie is just so amazing. Now, no spoilers, honestly, because I know... There are people that haven't seen Deadpool 1, and uh, just please go watch this movie. It's so great. The characters are fantastic in this movie. Deadpool himself, Wade Wilson, is so fantastic and so funny and has so much charisma thanks to Ryan Reynolds being, you know, charismatic. Wade Wilson one day finds out that he has cancer, and all of a sudden, he and his girlfriend Vanessa, played by Moreno Baccarin, Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> Essentially, she's obviously upset that that he has cancer. And he's he jokes about it, you know, but he, he doesn't want to die, you know what I mean? All of a sudden, at this, like, mercenary bar where uh, uh, a lot of, he, he calls it, he says, we're like tooth fairies, but instead of, uh, uh, you know, giving money, he, he knocks out the teeth and takes the money. Like, these are a bunch of bad dudes that do bad things for money. And uh, so essentially there's this guy that gives him a card and says, listen, if you need to call me, he's like, we, we make people with, with, for super, we basically make people become superheroes. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. And, you know, he obviously doesn't believe it. But as it gets, as the time progresses, he eventually is like, you know what, let me go to this fucking guy and check out. Maybe he can actually somehow cure my cancer. Maybe. Somehow. Basically, when he gets to this place, it turns out they're not making superheroes. They make super slaves. That's Ajax. And he meets, that's who he meets. The villain of this whole movie is Ajax or Francis that they keep uh, uh, making a lot of jokes about. And the only way to get this mutant, uh, this mutant gene out of someone is to really go through extreme pain. And so Wade Wilson goes through extreme pain and turns out that he actually can does have a mutant gene and he becomes Deadpool and he can never get killed. I mean, he he, he regenerates so quickly. It's it's pretty amazing. <laughs> I have nothing wrong with this movie. I really don't. Everything about this movie is amazing. Loved it. Story, while technically basic, is great. It's original. It still feels original because of these characters. These characters are all fantastic. From Deadpool to Ajax, Colossus, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Dopinder, all these characters are so likable and very different from one another. And yes, obviously it is hilarious. It's a, an incredibly funny movie. It's probably one of the funniest movies ever, honestly. They, they say shit that just like, it blows your mind that they're actually saying it in a movie. Because a lot of times, a lot of people just they tone it down, but I don't get that. Like, you go for that hard R rating because look, Deadpool is still sold a ton, and the second one's supposed to be make even more. Like, if you do it well, if you execute it well, people will come, and Deadpool for sure executed it fantastically. Like, it doesn't become overbearing where it's just like, oh, he's just cursing a curse. No, like everything is used very creatively, and the jokes are just fantastic. They all hit. They all hit. And it is gory. It's bloody as hell. You see heads fall off and, and he'll kick the heads into another person's body. It's crazy. There's some insane action set pieces in this movie. And the action is directed so damn well. It's very, very smooth. In fact, there's some that where it's like slow motion and it looks so crazy good. Especially there's one scene in the in the beginning with he has 12 bullets and he was says, I have 12 bullets and y'all have to share. And so he, he literally, he, they count down the bullets, 12, 11. And it, you just, it's insane. It's such a fantastic action set piece. And all of them, any anytime there's action, there's never a, a bad action scene. Because they're all shot incredibly well. Who would have thought 
Deadpool actually has a good romantic story. No joke. Wade Wilson and Vanessa. It works, man. It works. When you see their early progress and they're just like both crazy, it just works. You see you see a montage of them basically have, just having sex, but throughout the holidays and them getting closer and closer. And you genuinely feel like, yeah, this works. <laughs> Honestly, there's a lot of romances in these superhero movies and romances in general in movies that just don't work. But honestly, you could totally see Wade Wilson and Vanessa getting together. Like it just, it works. They have fantastic chemistry. And I, I love everything about it. The romantic part of it, the, the action part of it, the comedy part of it, and the soul of it, which is Deadpool himself. He's fantastic. You know, he breaks the fourth wall at times and it's so funny and it's different. You know, this is probably one of the, the first superhero movies of its kind, to be honest, to, to do this much uh, craziness in terms of rated R and in terms of like, you know, fourth wall breaking, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so it can be interesting to see how Deadpool 2 kind of holds up. Will Deadpool 2 really hold up to this high of a standard where honestly, I feel like it'd be tough to, to match, you know, but we'll see. Again, like I said, the villain is really good, too. He does a fantastic he does a fantastic job as Francis and the the it's funny like it's funny how they play on him the ability that he has that he can't feel pain that worked too everything about this movie works really i genuinely mean that even the music selection the the music selection you can just see it you're like this is totally deadpool you know this it, it works everything works <laughs> i know you're saying that but it's true and i love this movie 100 percent overall i'm gonna give deadpool a 10 out of 10 it's a masterpiece it's one of my favorite superhero movies if not my super favorite superhero movie no probably infinity wars i don't know i'm not too sure but i i love this movie it's definitely one of like my favorite movies of all time honestly i love deadpool it's so damn good it's fantastic please watch it if you haven't I'm so excited for Deadpool 2. I cannot wait to see more of Wade Wilson and his ventures as now, I guess, an X-Men, a part of the X-Force or something. I don't know. Uh, I didn't watch. I've only watched one trailer, so I'm pretty glad that I didn't uh, watch anything else. So everything's going to be super fresh to me, uh, even the jokes. And again, watching this now, even the jokes in Deadpool 1 still worked. That's awesome. You know, that's how you know uh, your comedy is good, that it lasts, the jokes. That if still... Two years later, you could watch it. After watching it like probably 20 times, it still feels funny. <laughs> so yeah, guys, did you like Deadpool? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.